Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can lodge your activity statements to the ATO that you've prepared in Xero. So the first way is going to be to lodge them directly via Xero. So what you need to do for that, first you need to actually connect your Xero account to the ATO, and then you need to complete your BAS or your IAS returns. And then when you're finished, you need to click on the lodge to ATO button and then follow the process to finalize it and the activity statement data will be sent to the ATO. So we'll just jump into a new Xero file now just so I can show you that first step, connect Xero to the ATO. So just over here in this new Xero file, which is just a pretend company, if you go to accounting and activity statement, so if you haven't already connected your Xero account with the ATO, this is what you'll get. You'll get a screen like this. So you want to click on continue and then you need to follow the process to go through and connect your account with the ATO. So you can see here, the first thing you need to do is actually call the ATO on that number and then you need to provide proof of ownership. So during this call, you need to provide proof of ownership and information, etc. And then you may also need to supply the ABN number um, of your business and the uh, software provider name there and also this SSID down here. And when you do that, you can then click on this button. And then once it's connected, you can click on this to check the connection and actually get your activity statements pushed through to zero here, ready for you to go ahead and complete them. Okay, so that's the first step. And once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is obviously complete an activity statement. And then you can go into the activity statement and click on the lodge button and then just follow the quick process to finalize it and send it to the ATO. So we'll just jump into another live zero account now and I'll just show you how that's done. Okay, so back over in zero, I'm just in a live account now. So I've just blanked out some information. To actually lodge your activity statement, you just go to accounting and activity statement. And then you just choose the one that you want to lodge. So I'll just choose this one here. And then you just need to check it. And if you're okay with it, you just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and you should get this lodge to ATO button here. So just click on that. And then it will just ask you if you're okay with everything. And if you are, you just tick the checkbox and click on lodge. Okay, so from there, you just need to follow a quick process to actually finalize it. And then of course, after you've lodged it, don't forget to actually pay the ATO because this doesn't actually do the payment. Okay, so one other way that you can lodge your activity statements that you've prepared in Xero is manually via the online services for business portal. So if you're going to use this, there's a few things you need to set up first. And the first thing you need to do is get yourself a MyGov ID, which is actually different to MyGov. So if you've got a MyGov account um, for yourself personally, that won't work. You need to get the MyGov ID. And to do that, you go to www.mygovid.gov.au to set it up, which is this web page here. So you can see mygovid.gov.au. And then if you scroll down, there's a little video there that tells you all about it and how to actually go about following the process. So what this does is it just sets you up with some identification. So you can use this when you go to log on to the portal and submit your um, activity statements. So once you've got your MyGov ID, then you can go to online services.ato.gov.au slash business. And when you log on to there, you can submit your activity statements. Okay, so that's this web page here. You can see I've just put that um, domain in there. And then you just click on the big button here. And it takes you to the login screen where, like I said before, you need to use your MyGov ID in order to log in. And once you're in, you should get a screen that looks something like this. So then you just need to choose whichever activity statement it is that you're going to lodge. And once you've chosen your activity statement, you'll be taken to a screen that looks a bit like this. 
And then you just need to copy the amounts out of zero for each label and type them into here. So for example, label 1A in your zero activity statement, you put it into box 1A there and so on for the other labels. Once you're finished, you just need to click lodge down the bottom and then you're done. Okay, so just a quick recap of those last few steps after you've logged in to the portal, you just choose your activity statement and then you get those amounts from zero for each label and you type them into the form. And once you've done that, you just hit submit and then you're done. And of course, just like when you lodge it through zero directly, don't forget to actually pay the ATO because this doesn't actually do the payment this step. So make sure you go ahead and actually pay what you owe um, the ATO for your activity statement. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's just two ways that you can lodge your activity statements that you've prepared in Xero. The first way is via Xero directly, and the second way is via the online services for business portal. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Xero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.